I'm going to show you guys how to put together the uh, new four color one station press that I have, the Gator 401, and it um, comes out of the box like this, and I'll uh, show you all the pieces and how to put it all together. Your bag of micro registrations with the screws in it. Your 15 by 16 plan. Base to your screen rack. The two towers that goes to your base for your screen rack. Base support. And this is for the exposure unit. Alright, we're going to start off with the screen rack. When you grab your bags of screws, they're all marked, labeled. This one's for your micros. You should have four bags of these, one for each set. And you should be able to have four screens for that. Bag for the light exposure, and this one's the screws for the light, uh, I'm sorry, to the base of the tower. And you're gonna have you, you're gonna need a handy little uh, drill. Makes it a lot easier to do that. But um, I don't ramble on with my talk and just show you how to do this. Now your base will come labeled. Just L, R, left and right, so you know which way to go. We're gonna first attach the towers to the base and these are marked L for left just put it in the corresponding side this one's for the right this is a uh, one and a half number six pan head metal screws work very well actually in doing this portion of the support I'm just going to first start them off with uh, maybe get it in the right direction first just get it started Make sure you don't screw it all the way into your table. <laughs> so it's not showing up, but to align it properly, just let the uh, tips come out of the screws a little bit. So we're just going to screw a little bit more until it starts to show up. I think you see it just like that. Yeah, I'll try to get in the camera there. So you just let the tips show just a little bit so you can line it up. Do the same to the other side. I'll premise, I'll uh, fast forward this a little bit. This is the damn boring part. Ah, too much. Now there's holes on here already since I uh, pre-assembled it. What you're just going to do is just line it up. You're going to have the, uh, the star, this, this side on the outside. And you see there's holes in here. And then you just basically line it up. We'll just get them all a little bit further out. Shit, it's too much. I swear I built this thing. <laughs> Probably asking yourself, Charlie, why did you make one of these? Well, I just some of those machines are too damn expensive for me to buy, so I decided to make one of my own. I actually found out about the micro, somebody made a comment on my YouTube video. Added to my machine, and man, it looks, works great. 
So it's all lined up. Just gets one of them. Started and get the other one. There you go, you got one side and we'll get the other side. We'll cut through that. Just a word of advice. I have made an outline where they should go, so if you're having a hard time seeing where to align it, there's drawing marks on here. It's pretty easy, but once you do it the way I just did it, it should be fairly easy to... Should is the emphasis word here. Should be easy. Alright. There you go. That's a good start to the screen rack. Now we're going to put these... Uh, yeah, I don't even know what they're called. Just basically to add more stability and support. In fact, as you can see, it's not very stable to hold the screen, so that's why I added these on here. And also they correspond to the side. This one's left. I'm going to put it to the left side. You see there's holes on here already. That's where you're going to screw it on. Same with the other side. So you should have four more of these. Let me just turn this around. And if you can't tell which way it goes, if this goes on the left side, you just want to make sure the foil part is facing up. screws off here and I don't have enough cord and just like the uh, base screws let them stick out a little bit so you can have a little guide line it up to the hole Too tight, just you don't want it snug. You don't want to hammer this thing in there. Just like that. And we'll do the other side. Same. Make sure the foil side is up. Voila. back it up here a little bit and there's your screen rack right there